What is going on, you two? Welcome to part two of the updated PS Vita custom firmware series. We've got our Vita modded on a high uh, firmware. We're on 3.73, and uh, we're going to be downgrading it to 3.60. Now, this should work for pretty much everybody, but some Vitas, if they are on a higher uh, firmware like stock if they hit the shelves on something like let's say 3.61 it would be impossible to downgrade to 3.60 unfortunately uh, however you are in luck it is possible to get a permanent custom firmware solution on 3.65 um, there is Enzo available for both 3.60 and 3.65 so we will have options for you if you run into an issue with this uh, now we're going to need to grab two files i'm going to have linked below uh, the 3.60 update file um, right here it'll be a mega link and i'll have some mirrors as well and we're going to want to grab the latest more duo more duo duro whatever it is the um the downgrade application for the PS Vita so I want to have this github linked right here made by the flow the man the myth the legend uh, so Mardoro the current version at the time of making this video has been out for quite some time it is version 2.1 just download this VPK file put it along with your 3.60 update file right here very nice all right now we're going to go back on our vita little up vita shell okay so in here we're going to want to get this in ftp mode just want to hit start okay yeah so in the main settings here we're going to go to select button is ftp very nice set that and now hit select and we got an ftp uh, server up and running here so now we're going to need um, to FTP on over so let's go back to the PC okay and I use FileZilla you can use whatever FTP client you want Files, FileZilla is what we are going to be using you're going to want to copy over the info that you saw there on your Vita so FTP server is now running at, and then it shows the address. So host, I want to do 192.168.50.33. No username or password, but the port is going to be 1337. Then we're going to quick connect. Always allow insecure plain FTP for this server. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to go to UX0. And then we're going to go to data. And then we're going to copy these two files. The Maduro VPK. And PS, PSP2 update. Uh, yeah. I'm going to copy both these over here. Just let it do its thing. Make sure they're not failed. And once done, then we can hop back on the Vita. Okay, and now that all the files have transferred, we can go ahead and back out of this. We'll hit X to disconnect. And then we're going to navigate to the files we transferred. So let's start with UX0 data and we're going to hover over maduro.vpk and we're going to install that you want to install this package so for yes extended permissions uh, that is fine hit accept those very nice now we're going to want to hover over psp2updat.pup and we are going to copy this hit 
hit X to go back. We're going to go to app. Maduro 000. Go in here. And we are going to hit triangle. Paste that update file. All right. Got that pasted. Now we're going to go back. Back. And now we're going to, we're still in UX zero. We're going to scroll down to tie here. And we are going to delete the tie folder. Confirm that. Yes. Tie folder is gone. And now we are going to close this out. We're going to shut down and reboot. Okay, so I've gone ahead and rebooted my Vita. Now, as you might recall, exploits will no longer work. As you can see, if I load up Vita Shell, hit start, we're going to get an error like that. That's because the exploit is not currently active. So we're going to need to get a, a hen core again. And activate this crap. So we launch Hencore, go start, and then hold R. Continuing to hold R. Yes. <clears throat> and hopefully it works. No, we got lucky that first time. So we're just going to keep powering down and retrying until we get into uh, Hencore here. All right, second try is a charm. So we're going to go to install Henkatu. Success. Great success. Very nice. Now we're going to go to exit. Okay. And now I'm going to go back up to settings here. We'll start it up. Go down to Henkatu settings. And we're going to want to unlink memory card. Cool. Memory card can be used by any Vita. And now it is time for Medoro. Let's load this sucker up. Very good. So our factory firmware is 3.50. That is very nice. Um, target firmware is 3.60 so if your factory firmware is above 3.60 you're going to need to use an alternative uh, method and hopefully get to 3.65 because you can get Enzo going on there um, I'm going to leave a written tutorial down in the description if you're in that boat go ahead and follow that I think it's incredibly niche I'm not going to bother making a video it's really rare that you're going to end up in that unfortunate situation um, but if you do there are solutions and i'll leave a written guide down below now it's going to ask us here do you want to downgrade from firmware 3.73 to firmware 3.60 press x to confirm x the software will make permanent modifications to your vita if anything goes wrong there's no recovery not even with a hardware flasher. Creators provide this tool as is, without warranty of any kind, express or implied, and cannot be held liable for any damage done. Cool. Alright, we're going to accept it. Chica, 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 chica. Rolling the dice. Let's roll. And make sure you... Have a good charge going, dudes. You don't want to have this start this up below 50% or with a crappy amount of battery. Uh, that would suck. Because if your battery dies mid, uh, mid flashing, downgrading of firmware, you're pretty fucked. I think you're fucked, dude. You're pretty fucked. You're going to be pretty fucked, right? 
Well, I will see you. Whoa, it's doing something. It's going to update. Oh, God. I'll see you guys when this is done, all right? Cool, dudes. Well, it finished up. Now let's check it out. Make sure that downgrade stuck. I'm going to scroll down to settings here. Our system. System info. 3.60. That's what's up, dudes. We are on the money firmware right here. Top tier. Golden boy. Place to be. Um, yeah, cool. Well, we're going to call it for there. In the next video, we're going to be remodding our firmware because we're back to stock. Um, we are now on 3.60 stock firmware. So we're going to be installing Henkatu again and then installing Enzo. So we're permanently hacked. All right. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Continue on with the playlist.